Hi, everybody. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Hi, everybody. My throat is still messed up. So we are continuing to work on the tail skins, the top rear skins. And uh, as you can see, I, I quit slowly sectioning off that uh, blue vinyl a long time ago. I just pull that whole crap off. So um, I do just go ahead and uh, take care of both skins here at once. And uh, it's you have to hand pull it off. I tried doing my uh, trick with the sticks. Problem is you, it really starts to put a lot of undue stress on that skin, which I don't want. So, so it's got to go. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Once again, the DRDD2 has done its job. It has done its job. So now it's just up to the squeezer. God, I hate the, I hate the way that air compressor sounds. I should. I need to mute that. So there is one section of uh, the skins that you don't dimple. Uh, it's just one row that goes along the kind of uh, curved leading edge, and I just mark those off with the mark those off with the sharpie and just move along. And so there they both are, clicked up onto the tail. Man, that thing's getting real now. So now our uh, Valiant Traveler moves back from the dimpling world and now is deburring the edges of, uh, of the skin in preparation for cleaning and then um, priming. Once again, so the, the primer that I'm using, just a spray-on self-etching primer, for those that I haven't mentioned this in a while. Uh, it's Duplicolor. I can get it from various auto parts stores. Uh, it's a nice kind of camo green. It's uh, a little bit uh, sensitive at, uh, in the first few days, but after that, it's uh, it, it seems to harden up really nicely. So there I was uh, just deburring the entire piece uh, and then cleaning it off with uh, aluminum. Aluminum? Aluminum? Cleaning it off with alcohol, rubbing alcohol. 91 uh, percent and now I'm currently priming it and it's so the uh, kind of like what we did the other video and you can see right there it's a little shiny but it's hard to see that triangle in front of you but I only prime the areas where there's going to be metal to metal contact for the sake of one savings two weight savings no one's going to be seen back here anyway except for the DAR me whenever I'm having to repair anything and I don't know. So anyway, uh, yeah, just gonna go ahead and deburb both apparently. And these pieces do take. Okay, so I will say this. Uh, one lesson I've learned. Uh, note to self. Uh, so any stamped curve edges, uh, in general, have a real, more frequent. Uh, kind of stamp edge issue to deal with. It's very brittle. Uh, but having to smooth that out is not easy. You gotta use, I'd use my curved uh, big file, my big curved craftsman file. It's, it's a coarse file, but it really gets that stuff out quick. And uh, it would be a pain in the butt without it. So Apparently I'm just gonna stare at my phone for a while and then dimple, hopefully, eventually. So this will pick up in the next video. See you soon.